wanted to rattle him up. Pray, your ladyship, give me leave to be angry. I'll, I'll rattle him up. I'll, I'll, I'll fuck him. I'll, I'll fuck him with some jar. You'll fuck him. I'll fuck him myself. <laughs> hold you, hold you contented, pray, Sir Paul. Hold yourself contented, Lady Pliant. I feel passion come upon me by inspiration. Therefore, give way. Why, how now? Will you be pleased to retire? No! 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 <laughs> Mary, I will not be pleased. I am pleased to be angry. That is my pleasure at this time. Gad's my life, the man's destructed. Why, how now? Who are you and what am I? Solidities. <coughs> Can't I govern you? I am not to be governed at all times. <laughs> when, when I am in tranquility, my lady Pliant shall command so Paul. But when I am provoked into fury, I cannot incorporate patience and reason. Oh, he's hot-headed still. It is in vain to talk to you. I will defend my honor, and yonder is the violator of my faith. Tis my honor that is concerned. The violation was intended to me, your honor. You have none but what is in my keeping, which I can dispose of as I please. Therefore, do not provoke me. That's but she says is true. <laughs> Fine. I shall fight behind you then. been an impenetrable wife. <laughs> Even to me, that's the true point. I am so shocked I know not what to say. <laughs> Do you think my daughter, this pretty creature, is nothing more than a stocking horse to stand before you while you take aim at my wife? I've never been angry in my life! And I... Oh, oh so little bit, Mr. Cannon. Oh, such a Take <laughs> Well, and damnation, this is, of course, my aunt's. No one <coughs> engenders such malice nowhere else. Sir Paul, take Cynthia from his sight. Leave me to strike him with the remorse of his intended crime. Yes, 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 yes. I pray you, sir, stay. Hear him. I dare affirm he's innocent. Innocent? I heard it from his aunt, my sister, Lady Touchwood. <laughs> but he, he cares nothing for you but thy portions. <laughs> he is in love with my wife, and he would have tantalized thee and made a cuckold of thy poor father, and that would, oh, would have definitely broken my heart. Therefore, come away when I bid you. I must obey. Hmm?
Oh, but I have not patience. Oh, merciful father, how could you think to reverse nature so by making the daughter the means of procuring the mother? The daughter procure thy mother? Ah, though I am not Cynthia's own mother, I am her father's wife. And that is near enough to make it incest. Incest? Naturally, my aunt, in cahoots with the devil. Oh, reflect upon the horror of that and the guilt of deceiving everyone, marrying the, the father just to make, marrying the daughter just to make a cuckold of the father and then seducing me, debauching me of my purity and preventing me from this road of virtue which I have trod thus long without one trip, not one faux pas. Madam. <laughs> to my thinking, I could resist even the strongest <clears throat> temptation. Oh, yet it is impossible for me to know if I could or no. There are no certainties in this thing of life. <laughs> madam, madam, madam. I pray you, give me leave to ask you one question. Oh, yes, ask you questions. No, no, I shall refuse you first. I shall deny you first. Therefore, do not ask me. Oh, Jim and I, you have brought, brought all the blood to my face. I warrant I'm as red as a turkey cock. Madam, hear me, hear me. Oh, hear yes, me. no, I'll hear you afterwards and, and deny you first. Oh, for hearing is one of the senses, and the senses are all fallible, but I assure you my nature, my Honor is infallible and uncomfortable. Oh, for heaven's sake, madam. Oh, no, Nina, no more. How can you speak of heaven with so much wickedness in your heart? You may not think it's a sin to marry my daughter for the convenience of frequent opportunity. But I shall never consent to that, to be sure. No, I shall break the match. Hell and damnation, madam, on my knees. Destruction follows hard, if most presently prevented. 